What's up guys, War here, and today we're going to show the weapons that you need to upgrade and how to spend your blood shards for the Witch Doctor coming in Season 27. Let's hop right into it. So, as you guys know, as always, you're going to want to complete the Challenge Rift, and we're going to pop the resources right here up on the screen. You're going to want to use all of these mats, the Death Breaths, and the Blood Shards to be able to craft a lot of good gear for the Witch Doctor going into Season 27, which will give you a huge, huge jump start to your character and help speed level you all the way to 70 really, really fast. So here's what we're going to do. So you're only going to be able to upgrade one item to legendary and extract the power out of it. So we're going to go through them and I'm gonna break down some of my best options or what do I think is going to be the best way to help power level you the fastest to 70 in the start of the new season. So first I want to talk about the oddball, which is the, I'm going to get, get rid of that, which is the scrimshaw. Now, this is a spear, so it's not a dagger, which I'm going to talk about after this, which is probably the main way that a lot of people, you know, level up the Witch Doctor at the start of a new season. So, but the Scrimshaw is definitely an option. The reason being because is it reduces the mana cost of Zombie Charger by 75% and increases it damage by seven times. So, if we go look at Zombie Charger, okay... It deals 560% weapon damage as poison. Now, this is just the base. This is without any runes, anything like that. You get it relatively early at level 14. So we're going to take 560% weapon damage, and then we're going to increase it seven times. Now, you can get either six or seven times. Seven times is the max. And it reduces the mana cost by 75%. So getting Zombie Charger is actually not bad. So you're going to have... Seven times 560% right off rip, which is really, really strong, which can just literally carry you to 70. I mean, that it, it's kind of insane. And then it reduces the mana cost from 150 by 75%. So you're talking about going down to about 50 mana per zombie charge, roughly. It's probably a little higher. It's probably 60. But this is a really good option if you wanted to go kind of off the traditional route of a ceremonial knife and go with the spear. This is really cool. I might try something like this at the start of the new season just to kind of test it and see how um, it would be leveling up, or we could do it with this character in season 26, but that's one oddball option. Next is going to be a ceremonial knife. Now, even at level one, guys, I actually tested this, and there's a lot of different options that, you can, that you're going to be able to get, but the best one is by far the barber. Because instead of dealing direct damage, your spear barrage now accumulates on the target and, and explodes, dealing a crap ton of damage up to 500%, which is insane. So ceremonial, or excuse me, the barber is definitely the first choice, and hopefully you get it. The RNG aspect is really cool, so it kind of makes leveling a little bit different each time. Uh, but the barber is definitely the one that you're going to be wanting to look for. After that, it's kind of a tie between the Spider Queen's Grasp and the Dagger of Darts. Both of these are really good. Your poison darts and fetish poison darts deal additional damage and pierce, or your corpse spiders deal a crap ton of different additional damage and then slow, slow enemies. So either one of these really good. I would probably edge the dagger of darts as second over the spider queens, just because you can pair it with what we're going to be gambling for with the gazing demise. But if you get one of these two, it's fine. Either one of them are good, but definitely look for the barber. That's the best ceremonial knife that you can get. Now, I do want to add that one optional thing that you may get is a Sacred Harvester. This is going to be used for future builds uh, when you get later into the season. But Silver Harvester stacks up to 10 times. If you happen to get this one, this is the only reason I keep it on here because Soul Harvest will give you a huge survivability boost and a big damage reduction. So it's just something that's really cool if you wanted to use it just in case. Now, let's move on to what you want to uh, gamble for when it comes to Kadala and the Witch Doctor. So the first and foremost, you definitely want Gazing Demise. Okay, this is the mojo. You're going to get this at level 16 to be able to use it. Um, now, again, you're going to want to extract any one of these as powers into the cube. But when you're gambling, these are the items that you're going to equip. So Gazing Demise is first and foremost because the damage of Spirit Barrage is increased and gains the Phantasm Rune, which lasts twice as long. So this is by far the best thing that you can gamble for with the witch doctor outside of that there's a couple other things you get leorc's crown you could do the pox folds like i've mentioned in previous videos um, or if you wanted to you could just save your blood shards or you could try to roll for another weapon um you know well not roll for another weapon but you could try to like get a, a really good weapon or a ring or you could try to get some armor pieces but the gazing demise is definitely the best one that you can get for the witch doctor 
The Witch Doctor class doesn't have a whole lot of options when it comes to gambling, so definitely just grab Gazing Demise and just kind of get whatever after that. So it could be the crown, it could be a ring, it could be the Poxfold. Poxfolds would be really good, actually, on the Witch Doctor, so you could try for those. But those are the best options when it comes to the Witch Doctor uh, at the start of a brand new season. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like as it does help me out, guys. Uh, we've been blasting these videos out like crazy. We got all the rest of the classes to do for the start of season 27. So we're going to break it all down. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe because the support has been amazing and it does help out the channel so much. So thank you guys again. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.